What's up guys? It's been a while since I uploaded any tutorial or any video on, in general. So in this video I will show you how you can move uh, smoothly in Vim and open files that you want with just few click using FCF. So if I just hit F then you can see I will get this little menu here and I can actually pick the file that I want to open. For example, if I want to open the deploy ML, I can directly just type some letters and then directly open it. For example, if I want to open, let's say author card dot view. So you can see if I just type A and C and you can see that's it. All right. So in this video, I will show you how you can do it and how you can set it up. So let's close it. And we are here. And this is a super simple ZSH shell. And uh, so let's see first thing that you need to have. All right, so the first program you need to have is obviously Vim. <laughs> so which you might have because it's a Vim tutorial. So if you don't have, you can install NeoVim like uh, NeoVim. And uh, the other program that you need is fdefined. So it's actually a utility written in Rust so which can be used to list files and all the stuff so in 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 uh, ubuntu and debian based uh, distributions you have a package name called fd-find and if you hit enter it will install the fd-find okay now remember one thing in order to run fd you need to type fd-find and not fd if you type fd you can see it is just trying to list all the files that are uh, available so I will just close it now so you can see this is how ftfind works you can check the help page here right and you can also go to the main page if you want to okay so if I do fd find and here we have the fd uh, main page all right so why we are talking about fd right when we need to use fzf in um, in vim right so FD you need to use FD so let me show you one thing so let's just open a folder here so we're gonna go to this folder and say Vim period all right so I'm just gonna open a uh, gem and uh, here we are all right now if I hit F you can see this now let's talk about the extensions that you need to have okay so let's open a new tab and let's edit the zsh uh let's open the vimrc so actually i have created a variable for it so i can directly access it otherwise you need to type this path if you're using nvim then it is this otherwise if you're using vim then it, it will be dot vimrc in your home directory now once you have it here so you will see that i am using this um, vim plug as a plugin manager and these are the extensions that i that i am using so in order to get the features that we want first thing you need to have is this extension so it's june gun slash fzf and then june gun slash fzf dot vim you need to have both so you can just copy it or i will provide it in the description you can just yank it from there all right so then you can do something like plug install to install this extension all right so it will be installed so once you have it if you type colon and capital F I L E S it is going to open the, this window where you can actually look for anything that you want for example if you want to go to the author info you can go directly to author info like this all right so this is how it works sorry let me just open vimrc again all right here now another thing that you need to do whenever i type f i am receiving this menu right so in order to get this you need to set up a key binding which is pretty easy but i will show you so if i just look for that key binding here so you can see we are trying to map this specific key called f and it is going to map from the colon files and then your uh, you need to type this enter so that you can actually hit enter so this is what you need to do now the problem is so for example if I am here right 
let me just open a, a random project okay so I'm going to open let's say Tequito boilerplate now it contains the git repository right so if I type git so you can see if I type git status it is going to give you some information but if I remove the git folder from here so I'm just going to remove git folder right now you can see we do not have git folder now if I type vim period and if I try to open any file for example let me just open readme.md now if I type f now you will see one stupid thing which is now you're gonna get all of the files from the dist and node modules and all that stuff so how will you fix it so that is the main important portion right let's see so for one thing you need to do is let me show you you need to open zshrc or bash rc if you're using bash now I'll go all the way to the end and over here so now we need to export a variable called fzf default command and here we are using so here we are using the uh, fdefined right so this command is actually used to list down the files by default it uses ls command but we want to use fdefined because it offers a nice uh, it offers a nice feature called dash dash exclude and dot kit so what it will do it will actually exclude all of the files and folders from the dot git ignore file if you're having a bare git repository okay so this is how it is going to work so this is the line that you need to have now let me show you once you have that exported and uh, if I type vim period and try to open something now you're going to get the node modules as well but in order to fix it you just need to create a git repository in that folder so you can see now you have the git repository so now you can do vim period here to open and now if i type f now you're going to get only the files that are uh, available normally okay so you're not gonna get you're not gonna get any files or folder from the node modules so this is pretty cool and this is how you can actually move between the files easily and it's super cool all right so this is pretty much it for setting up uh, fzf in vim so yep hopefully you like it and i'll see you next time